Logo fail UEFI firmware exploit, here is what you need to know. Recently, a serious vulnerability was discovered in both Windows and Linux systems, hundreds of machines have fallen vulnerable to this dangerous exploit, and in case you do not know, this exploit basically replaces the official boot logo of the PC with an imitation which may look like the real thing, but lurking beneath that is some malicious code designed to do lots of harm to your PC, and this is a problem that not even the best antivirus solution will solve, it goes as deep as the booting process of the computer, which makes it incredibly difficult to remove, and there is a great in-depth article by Ars Technica, check it oof if you're interested. Essentially, this flaw is a recently new and unveiled significant threat to all systems that use UEFI, and it does not just affect x86 or x64 bit processors, AMD and Intel models of a large range are affected, as well as the ARM processor, ARM processors are also vulnerable to this serious exploit, making the Raspberry Pis and other ARM based devices a huge target for this exploit and Linux and Windows are the known systems to be affected by this exploit, even a clean install will not eradicate the issue, and the whole thing of Linux being more secure than Windows is really utter nonsense, you should know that no operating system is bulletproof against any threat or attack, it's just that Linux is not used by anywhere near as many people in the desktop market, so it is not a huge target for malware and hackers but it can still be seriously infected and damaged or compromised if the end user does something that ends up in them becoming victim to something nasty like ransomware. It's highly recommended you update all your software and your operating system right now, as patches to hopefully prevent this exploit from happening are possibly being sent out to all operating systems affected by this exploit right now, make sure everything is up to date, and if you do have antivirus, run an in-depth system scan just to make sure no suspicious files are hidden on the PC, Linux users do not need to worry so much unless you're using a Linux server which will be accessed by Windows clients, and therefore you do not want malware possibly spreading over the server, a reputable solution for Linux and BSD is Clam Avenue, also known as Clam TK. This not so user friendly antivirus is highly regarded as the best for Unix like operating systems, but it relies on you having to use various commands, and this is not going to be a fun and easy process for everyone. Many may find the terminal overwhelmingly confusing, but if you're already a Linux user, you may have some know how on how to use Clam Avenue or Clam TK. Luckily, this thing is not going to happen to you out of nowhere you would have to be unlucky, or simply lack common sense and be dumb enough to download a dodgy file or visit a sketchy website, which could then get your system infected, but in this case, it's more likely you would execute a program which would install the malicious code which will be present when booting the PC, and no matter what you do, your computer is almost completely ruined at this point, once things start affecting your firmware, it becomes very difficult to remove and eradicate the issue, so anyone on vulnerable systems is also encouraged to download the latest firmware version for their systems, Dell, HP, Acer, Lenovo, Asus, and other brands are all vulnerable to this exploit, so check the manufacturer's website for a new firmware version to flash to your computer, do be aware that this carries significant risks. If your PC unexpectedly powers off or something goes wrong during the process, it will likely result in a completely bricked computer, and at that point, it's as good as a paper weight, so you would need to spend a lot of money on a new system. Before you check for firmware updates, you first need to verify what you're using, if you're on a legacy computer, you will not be affected by this exploit. Only UEFI systems are affected, a key sign that you're using a UEFI firmware is that your computer has the option to enable or disable secure boot, a PC without this option is likely using legacy, not UEFI, however, you can usually change over, depending on how old your PC is, and what it uses, never mess around with your UEFI or BIOS unless you have to change something. Not knowing what you're doing will likely ruin the system and render it inoperable. Please stay up to date on this exploit as much as you can.
because you never know if it will become more advanced, or it could become eradicated, read up on reputable news sources that cover technology, and watch people like myself who delve into these topics to better help you understand what it is, I would recommend a video by Windows Computers and Technology regarding this topic, if you want to see his video, just do a search for the logo fail exploit, many have already started covering this issue, and it's only going to gain more attention by more content creators. Anyway, with all that out of the way, it is now time to draw this video to a close. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.